Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making pesto pasta with olives, shiitake mushrooms, and artichokes. Let me show you how to make it. We'll need a couple tablespoons of finely chopped garlic, so I'll start by smashing my garlic cloves. After that, I'm going to remove the skins, and the peels should come off pretty easily after you smash them. Next, we're going to chop that garlic down fine, just like you see here. We'll also need some finely diced onion for this, so I'll slice my onion into thin strips first, and then I'll dice it down into smaller bits from there. Some of the other simple ingredients for this dish are pesto, artichoke hearts, and Kalamata olives. With the olives, we're going to strain the liquid, and my container was seven and a half ounces, and it made up one cup of olives. I'll spread them out on the cutting board, and then I'm going to give them a good rough chop until they look approximately like this. The artichokes came in pretty small chunks already, but I still cut them down just a touch more. When you're done, you can throw those right in the same bowl with the olives. I bought already sliced shiitake mushrooms and I washed and blotted them dry. So I've got that along with my pesto, olives, artichokes, garlic, and onion. There are add-on options too. I had pine nuts on hand, so I toasted those in a pan for about five minutes. And I'll show you a few more add-ons when we get to the assembly of the pasta. I've got my salted pasta water boiling with a pound of linguine, and I'm adding a little olive oil to a pan to cook the mushrooms. So I'm gonna add those mushrooms and spread them out. I'm gonna lay them flat and give them a little bit of space. Next, I'll season with salt and pepper. I'll give the pasta a little toss just to make sure my noodles are not sticking together. After a few minutes, it's time to give our mushrooms a stir around the pan. Next, I'm gonna push the mushrooms over to one side while I add my onions, along with a splash of olive oil. We're gonna give those a mix and let them cook for a minute or two on their own. Then we'll mix to incorporate them with the mushrooms. Then you're going to let these cook another couple of minutes together. After that, we'll add the garlic to the middle of the pan with a splash of olive oil and let it cook briefly in the center. Then mix everything together and let it cook about another two minutes. Now it's time to add the olives and artichokes. And then we're going to mix everything together for one or two more minutes. And now we're ready to start assembling our pasta dish. I've strained my pasta and tossed it with olive oil, and now I transferred that pasta to a big mixing bowl. I'm going to add that delicious flavor base to the pasta bowl, a bunch of pesto, and you can add as much pesto as you like here. I prefer a lighter coating, but if you want more, go for it. Now it's time to start tossing our ingredients together, and when you're tossing a big batch of pasta, you'll need a couple of tools. I like using my tongs and a wooden spoon. I'm going to add some shaker Parmesan cheese to this. It's one of the optional add-ins and you don't have to use it, but I love cheese, so I'm using it. We'll give it one final stir and then let's take a closer look at the finished product. And now it's time to eat the bite. I love adding a few sun-dried tomatoes to the top of this, plus a little fresh grated Parmesan cheese. And I am so ready to dig into this. I'll tell you right now, I do love this flavor profile, especially the pesto and olives. It tastes amazing as it is, and I love that it's customizable if you wanna add the sun-dried tomatoes, fresh Parmesan, toasted pine nuts, and mozzarella balls if you want. It's absolutely delicious, and I highly recommend it. If you wanna serve this family style, just transfer all the pasta to a large platter, garnish with the optional add-on mozzarella balls, toasted pine nuts, sun-dried tomatoes if you like, and a little fresh grated Parmesan cheese. The best part is you can serve any add-ons on the side and everyone can customize their plate. That's all for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, you'll find this and all the printable recipes over on my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. I have a giant fork somewhere. I don't know where it is right now, but I always lose that fork, and then I always need that fork, and in case you can't tell by the sound, this particular drawer that I'm in right now is a mess. Okay, forget about that. We'll just lift it up with our hands and with no giant fork. Here we go.